Dude, did you hear about the new Buzz Lightyear movie that Pixar is going to make? Like, what? Look at this. It's red. Red. That's flipping cool, dude. When I was a little guy, I would watch Toy Story 2 over and over and over and over and over. I freaking loved that movie, dude. And it was mostly because of Buzz. There were two Buzzes. That was epic to me. Dude, Buzz Lightyear has been my favorite character for as long as I can remember. This is a picture of me as a little baby boy. I was in Buzz Lightyear costume. Bro, I've had so much Buzz stuff as a little kid. Look at my key ring. Today, to this day, look at my keys, bro. I got Buzz on there, man. Like, just look at him, dude. It's green, white, purple colors. He just looks awesome, man. The way he stands. That's so cool. <laughs> and it looks like they want to make this Lightyear movie to show his backstory and all this cool stuff. Uh, it's so exciting, dude. Just flip and think. Telling a story about a character who looks like this. Imagine the way his world looks, bro. Imagine how much color there must be. Just by looking at his green suit, I can tell this is going to be amazing. And I Dude, Pixar just dropped a real trailer. Oh my gosh, what? Holy flip. To infinity. And... So, um, I'm kind of upset about this. First of all, his... His face, bro. Here's normal toy buzz. Okay, he, he's got a, he's got a good face. Maybe his chin is a bit too big, but that's okay because he also has big eyes, and overall his face is very cartoonish and stylized, you know? But then you have this... It, 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 okay, it, it's not that bad, but it looks like someone took a normal face and shrunk all the facial features. I know that Pixar wants to make things all realistic, but this is just... If you want to keep this big chin, why did you... You guys changed the eyes. Why did you keep the chin the same? And well, as I started watching the trailer, I guess I was expecting the space station to, uh, you know, look a little brighter. You know, his suit is all nice and green. Seems like this wouldn't be so brown and dusty. And it's just, yeah, where's all the color, bro? I, I was just wondering, you know, like, uh, just, just kind of wondering, where's all the color? Where's the color? Come, come on, it's just dirt, man. This is all brown. I don't know. I just think that because Buzz is all colorful and green, maybe he should be from a place that is, I don't know, colorful and green. I'm just, just saying. Five, four, three, two, one. And who the flip is it? Is that Moana? Dude, that, I'm telling you, that looks just like Moana. Why does that look like Moana? Another big thing I was upset about was the shape of his suit. Dude, look look at these legs. They look big or something. In the toy version, he has big shoulders, and it looks like he's a big tough guy, and that's super cool. But here, it looks like they made his chest smaller and his legs bigger. I also heard that Pixar isn't even going to use the real Buzz Lightyear voice actor. They're going to be using this Captain America guy as the voice of Buzz. Where's Tim Allen? Why? Why are they touching finger? Dude, after all this, I don't know about this movie anymore. I mean, I always saw Buzz as a super powerful space ranger who was super cool and tough, but now that they're touching fingers... And, uh, this movie is changing that. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I'm just... Am I the only one who thinks this? Um, the comments on the trailer are very positive. I guess I might be taking this too seriously. So I just went through my script and made my thoughts on the trailer less negative. So what you just heard me say could have been a lot stronger, a lot worse. Um, uh, I do have a strong opinion on this movie, but I guess no one really cares about that. It looks like everyone's just like, cool, I guess that's cool. I don't know. This might be, for me, this might be the, another Sonic situation. For me personally, I don't know. I don't know. It's, I, it's, the, the trailer has only been released for one day so far. This morning is when I saw the notification on my YouTube Hey, uh, Cosmodos, what do you think about this? Uh, yeah, I think it's good. Uh, like, uh, y you don't think Buzz looks, I don't know, weird or anything? What do you mean? Like, I don't know, what do you say, his face looks off? Well, yeah, he looks kind of weird, but that's just because he's a human now. Okay, but... Of course he's gonna look different. Okay, yeah, but... After don't... all, he's not just a toy anymore. Okay. But don't you think his... he's real? Well, yeah, but don't you think his legs look big here? Big legs? Come on. Are you sure you're just not being a hater? What? A, a hater? No, dude. Oh I... my gosh, no, no, dude, dude. You're dude, being I, a that's, hater that's not what I'm just because just he's got mad be style Honestly, you're hating on. Why can't that you just love Pixar? Um, uh, yeah. What else happened recently? Oh, yeah. Guys, we just might lose another good YouTuber. William Osmond has been going through a bit lately. He uploaded his video titled, I'm Done, and he seems pretty beat about it. His comments have been getting to him. I hope he finds a way to ignore all those mean comments. Dude, William was the guy who got Michael Reeves into YouTube. He's slipping cool. Both William and Michael. 
I mean, dude, this is just... I, I hope he stays, man. You, he gotta stay on YouTube. I don't think I can take another Joji or Ryan Higa. I saw William's video about a week ago, and today I listened to the H3 podcast where he responded to William. Ethan was saying stuff like, Dude, I went through the same stuff. I couldn't take all those comments. I hated uploading after a while. He went about saying that everyone who does YouTube eventually goes through that firewall where everything is just terrible, and they either quit YouTube or they figure it out and make something good from it. Ethan said that that's how he started his podcast and that he's been loving it ever since. So William has got to figure that out. He has to power through it, man. Guys... Go support William. Tell him that he's got this. That everything's going to be good. William, you need to fix this issue. Become Buzz Lightyear and kill your haters to infinity. Dude, I'm too much of an H3 podcast fan. I can't tell you how much I listen to them, bro. Dude, Ethan, if you ever hear this, you need to start narrating the things on screen so that us audio listeners can understand what it is that's going on. I am primarily... I'm primarily... I am primarily... Primarily, I am primarily an audio listener, and I have been listening since the summer of 2020. Okay, uh, that's that's not that long ago, but I've been able to listen to every single one of your podcast episodes, and I've even been listening to the older ones um twice. Okay, yeah, um, yeah, this has been fun. I guess that's sort of all I wanted to talk about. Oh, dude, I saw this freaking funny TikTok recently, dude. It's the freaking funniest thing I've seen in a long time. Here, let me just pull it up. I do freaking look at this, bro. <laughs> You got this guy sitting here, this freaking balloon. <laughs> I freaking love this thing. I saw this video and I couldn't stop laughing for 20 freaking minutes, bro, dude. I, there's some, this is something else, man. This video, it's got 9 million views. Wow, bro. Gosh, dude, I love this so much. <laughs> like, dude, why is he screaming at the end, dude? What the freak? It's like this balloon just scared the crap out of him. Like, what the crud? And then he, like, does jazz hands or something, dude. It's freaking funny, dude. Oh, also, I was getting some comments. Some of you guys have been telling me someone started a Redbubble account and is selling my merchandise without me knowing. Uh, that's, that's actually me. That's my store. Yeah, um... I didn't want to talk about it just yet because I wanted to at least have 10 designs in there first. But whatever. It's, it's whatever. Check it out if you want. It's still under development, but yeah. Yeah. It's it's a thing. This video has been fun. I'm glad you guys watched. Make sure you go and have a day. When I was young, I was...